closer to home, family and friends gathered for a vigil tonight to honor a Pinellas County High School student. One year ago today, a car struck and killed 15 year old Ethan Weiser. A car hit Ethan on the way to his bus stop. His loved ones have been pushing for improved safety for pedestrians ever since that day. News Channel's Justin Shecker is live tonight on Bel Air Road in Clearwater. Justin. Jack and Allison, good evening to you both. Ethan's family says this stretch of Bella Road is just as dark as it was a year ago, but there is this sign behind me that says watch for pedestrians in memory of Ethan Weiser. His uncle says there's also a crosswalk nearby that could have made a difference the morning his nephew never made it to school. A year ago, we sat here at the same place and we mourned the loss of our grandson Ethan, but today we celebrate his life. At tonight's vigil for 15-year-old Ethan Weiser, they lit candles and sang his favorite song. Hallelujah, holy, holy. Family and friends gathered near the intersection on Bel Air Road where the Largo High School student lost his life walking to his bus stop one year ago. Obviously, it's not something anyone plans for. Nobody has a playbook on how to do it. But Ethan's family has come up with a playbook to honor his life by hopefully saving others. We want to make sure that um, that nobody else uh, learns another person's name um, because of this type of situation. Ethan's uncle Matt Crosman has attended meetings in Pinellas County over the past year, advocating for changes to improve pedestrian safety, especially in school zones and around bus stops. There's now a crosswalk down the road from where a car struck his nephew. That's a great example of, of change that could happen. And, you know, that could have been a difference between Ethan being here or not. So thankfully, we're, we're glad that it's there. This family's mission of making sure all students can get to school safely will continue as they keep Ethan's memory alive. And we should expect more from our cities and counties in the state to make that as safe as possible. And Ethan's uncle tells me cities and towns have worked with the Pinellas County School Board to move bus stops locations with better lighting. Ethan Weiser should have just started his junior year of high school. We are live tonight in Pinellas County. I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.